I got a parcel this morning and it's bee related. I bet nobody can guess what it could be. Let's open it and find out. Daisy, what do you think it is? Yeah, too late, they've gone. So here we go. Here's my parcel that arrived this morning. Not sure if anybody could guess what it could be. First little box. And it is AZ frame spacers. They go at the back and the front of the beehives. These are uh, steel ones with galvanized coating. And basically they go at the back of the hives and the front of the hives and the frames fit into them and that's what spaces them out. So I've got more of those. At last I'll be able to finish off the hives. And now for the box. Anybody guess what it is yet? Can anybody guess what it is yet? Well, it is an electric bee brush. frames go in here there's some rotating brushes uh, it's powered by a 12 volt motor and the bees are then pushed down into the box at the bottom so you take your frame with the bees on it switch the switch on blow it down into there and it gently sweeps all of the bees off and off the frame nicely into the box at the bottom So I've seen this being used online, I've only found a couple of different versions. I found the plastic version from China, which was more expensive than this, and was also obviously very plasticky. So I thought this uh, metal one would be maybe last maybe 20 years, so it wasn't cheap, but I thought that I'd at least have it for another 10 or 20 years, and uh, then hopefully make more use of it. And inside you can see some nice brushes, I believe they're horse hair. And I've just noticed how to operate it properly. You've got this quite handy little handle. Push the handle down, it releases the bottom bucket nicely. You can then take the bees, tip them back into the hive, and uh, job Bob's your uncle. So with the AZ hives, when it comes to honey, uh, collecting your honey, all you have to do is open your door. You don't have to take your door off, but in this case I thought I would because otherwise you won't be able to see me. You then open your hive, take off your little cover, straight away you're inside the hive, you take your little So you, uh, you've got this thing, the wooden drawer gets fitted onto here, you can then take one frame at a time, nice honey frame, imagine that, and then basically to get the bees off of the frame, you lower it down into rotating brushes, all the bees get swept down into the bottom, and then you can put your honey frame away somewhere nice and go for the next one. Then you take your frames immediately and uh, 
decap them, get the honey out of them, and then when they're wet, you bring them back to the hive and put them back in the hive. You would then take the bottom container with bees in it, tip them back into here, maybe with some smoke or a little brush, persuade the bees to go back into their hive. When you're done, you can remove this, and then you can put the back on the hive again. So imagine all of this has been done without too many bees flying around, and also without having to lift any heavy boxes, which is a bonus for everybody. I've got a window here, which I would probably have opened, so any flying bees in here would be going out the window and getting back on with their work. But we'll see. It all sounds like a good idea, and I look forward to trying to learn to use it. Uh, I hope it made kind of sense to you. I think it looks pretty cool. It's nicely made, and uh, I'm looking forward to using it. Well, I hope this inspired you slightly, and uh, let me know in some comments what you think. If you think it's a good idea, if you're interested, subscribe, follow, see what's up, see what's coming next. As soon as I start uh, putting the bees in the hives, I'll try and make some more videos. Um, sorry if I'm talking rubbish sometimes, but I'm not quite used to uh, talking to myself. It's a bit strange. Anyway, I won't bore you any longer. Bye bye. So I've just made these with the small spaces on, the, on them for the bee frames. And these I will slot into the back of the hive. It makes it easier to put them onto this piece of wood on the table, rather than trying to struggle to reach into the back of the hive. So screw them on because they're a little bit fiddly. So here you can see one of the hives is already finished. It's got the piece of wood at the back with the frame spaces fixed to it. And on the slightly narrower hive next to it, I'm going to just pop this in. Made it quite a tight fit. Just lower it down a little bit. And then I shall pop a couple of uh, nails from the air gun into it and that's it. I'll do the same on the next three rows. You can see here I've got a, a, a entrance and another entrance at the bottom. So it can either be two smaller hives or one big hive with either two entrances or just one entrance. Now you can see in the bottom of the beehive, holes at the bottom, and I've got those pieces of wood placed in the back with the spacers. This hive here is only seven frames wide because it's basically just going to fill in the gap at the end of where all my bee beehives are. And this just happened to be the space at the end and it seemed to shame not to fill it in and use it. At the bottom of all the beehives, I've got uh, extra space, which will either be there just so the bees have got more space, or I'm going to put in a pollen trap eventually, which will be uh, a box section which will slide into the bottom and uh, with a drawer in it, but I haven't made that yet. So for the time being, I've got this bottom board with like a little ramp on it, which then slides into the bottom. That means that the bees don't come out into this bottom section here. They just come up the hole at the back there and into their beehive. And I've also got, which is gonna go between all the frames, the spacers, so it takes up the B space. Or if the hive is only small and maybe like a small nuke or small, I can slide in the solid board. So the bees will just be in this bottom section. And then as the bees get bigger, I can take it back out again and pop in the sliders. And if I want to, then I could in a blank at the top section here and that would mean that the bees would only be in the bottom two sections and instead of this I've also got another frame similar to this which has got a, a larger square hole and then I will put in there a queen excluder which I could put at any position I want and that goes the same for all of the rest of the hives they've all got a similar sort of setup I've also started on the ventilation of the, uh, of the doors which is going to be done 
the, the hives are all ventilated through these holes at the back of the hives. So this space here is really still the beehive. And then on the back of this door, which is closed, there is a hinged section at the top and then the same at the bottom. And that will be across all of the hives. And really I just got a jigsaw and, and cut a hole and then put a couple of hinges on it. Quite simple. I just wanted to say that none of this is really my idea. This is just my interpretation of an idea that's already out there for many, many years. And it's a Slovenian beehive, which is called an AZ beehive, which is basically from a guy in Slovenia who kind of thought up the idea. And uh, I've only been beekeeping for three and a half years and I really just thought it looked like a wonderful idea and uh, definitely have a go at it. And as soon as I've made this lovely space above my garage, it will keep the bees up higher outside so they're not going to be flying around and you can walk past them easier and uh, I just really like the idea so we'll see what happens.